Anita Darcy Hoft, NITSNAP, Prince George, British Columbia. Classes for next year are going to be semester, and you'll have block A, B, C, and D, so four blocks semester one, four blocks semester two. So flex, you have the opportunity to go to any class that, that you need that support from. I've been holding at least three sciences this year, so I've overworked myself, so I've taken that thrive time to get my work done so I didn't have to do it at rowing practices. So Thrive, if you take the time and do it and work with it, it can give you your free time outside of school. I found that like, when you have something, um, like work that you don't understand or anything that you don't know or you're not sure how to do it, it like you feel so comfortable to talk with a teacher because she makes you feel that that when she talks to you or like the way that she teach us it makes you feel like com comfortable. I felt like the teacher when they are talking to you they make you feel that they are happy to help you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Blacklock. So if you want to change your classes, you can pop into the counseling office and make an appointment with the secretary, or um, you can email one of us or email the counseling secretary. Um, we can talk to you about changing classes, what classes you might need for future um, post-secondary classes or programs, um, and you can also come and see me if you have any need for confidential counseling services for concerns about you and your world and your life or one of your friends. Getting to know the office admin and career staff is crucially important in my opinion because those people are there when you need them most of the time at least and especially with counseling say you had a class that you thought you'd enjoy then in within the couple of weeks they let you switch you're like this class sucks I want to go to another one make a counselor meeting they're always open the staff there's really nice and you don't have to feel bad about having to ask I for one have been in there a good number of times. Clubs and intramurals are a great way to socialize outside of the standard classroom circle that you're often introduced to. I think it really enhances your experience at school because you do a lot more, a lot more than just learning in your classes. You like, you. It's a good opportunity to make a lot more, a lot more friends and just. Um, just be more part of the school community, I guess. You'll usually find like-minded people. For example, there's the book club. People who really love reading, people who want to share their love of books. And of course, there's the standards, the rainbow club, where LGBTQIA plus is all welcome. And sometimes you'll find other clubs, like earlier this year, Miss McKenzie had a creative writing club and that was cool. I believe there's like a debate club. Just keep your eyes open and I'm sure there's a club that will eventually suit your fancy. So rock climbing is a big sport here. We have multiple classes. We have a grade 10 class and then a grade 11, 12 and anyone can join any of those classes. They're for all levels depending on if you've just started or if you're a pro so just have to bring your gym strip and meet at the back of the school by the bus loop for pickup. Hello uh, my name is uh, Mr. Newman and uh, I teach uh, mechanics here at uh, Cow High. Uh, we have about uh, four different courses you can take so um, when you come in in grade 10 you can take Explore Mechanics 10 so we go through uh, cars, uh, scooters, outboards, bicycles, all that stuff um, and if you really like it you can move on take Mechanics 11. Uh, we also have an Auto Tech 12 as well which you can take twice. And uh, as well, if you really, really like mechanics, you can actually take our train and trades uh, programs where the school district actually pays $4,000 for you to go to Camosun and become an automotive service tech. Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith. I work out of room 29. I'm a learning services teacher, so my job is to support students with any academic needs as you shift into learning like an adult. So I can be found in room 29, which is right next to the counseling department, and I'm happy to help you with studying or test writing or essay writing or editing or 
managing your course load. Hi, Squail. Antha Loren Rainon. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Loren Rainon. I'm the Indigenous Education Teacher at Captain Secondary School. We have an amazing team and we're based out of room 29. So please come and feel free to, to wander on in and come say hi. Hi, I'm Mrs. Luders and I'm part of our learning services team here at Cow High. If you require counseling, please feel to stop by and see Miss Blacklock. And if you require additional help, room 29 is where we have our learning services team and indigenous ed team or it's a place where you can just stop by and grab a snack if you need. I look forward to seeing you. Hello my name is Vinny Smith. Hello my name is Bernard, Couch and Secondary student. And here at Couch and Secondary the classes are peaceful, cooperative, and there's plenty of things to choose from. It's quite lovely, quiet. So that is a really awesome program that we have here, which uh, provides lunches for students who maybe don't have food that they can bring from home, or maybe you forgot your lunch and you need something to eat and you don't have money to go out and buy food. They provide a lot of really awesome meals and also just like snacks. And even in the morning, if you're maybe you missed breakfast, they have cookies or cereal or waffles, just a lot of really nice food for people who maybe don't have direct access to it once they get to school. Mr. Lachlan's room and I like it because there's always um, coffee available for anyone. There's a microwave and there's always um, food as well and it's all free and there's cups and there's cream and sugar for the coffee and it's just a really great environment and you can come get coffee and just hang out. That's Mr. Lachlan right there. Um, another cool aspect to Mr. Lachlan's room is that every Wednesday we have what's called Weenie Wednesday so there's hot dogs and um, like ketchup and mustard and onions that you can come and take and it is a favorite among the exchange students but all students are welcome to come and have a hot dog. Uh, I'm Lucas Knott. There's 18 different bathrooms all over the school. You don't need to ever go looking for one or go have halfway across the school. Plus the boys bathrooms, they got dividers between the stalls or urinals I mean so you always got your space. It's never weird. I found my place in Mr. Luff's room and the band room. Uh, I found my place on the basketball team and it was all similar group of guys, similar interests, so we'd always be down to get in the gym and work on, work on our game and just grow as a team. Oh yes, and then also Mr. Whitney's room. I've really been appreciative of his class. When I was in his class, it was lovely. I had an amazing time and I just, I feel like I can be myself there. Uh, Miss Charles definitely is one of the nicest people that I've met. Uh, she's super welcoming, super nice. She give a shirt off her back for anyone, I think. So she really helped a lot, definitely. Recently I joined the, uh, the band group and I, uh, I felt like, you know, I, I kind of gained another family. You know, I have my friends outside of band, but I've, I've met a whole bunch of people that are really nice and I feel like it's a whole kind of new friend group there. And it's really led well by our teacher Mr. Lofto and it's just a whole lot of fun. We are excited to have you all coming to Couch and Secondary. Have a happy and safe summer. See you in the fall.